What's up guys? Welcome back. Today's video is my EDC update for 2022. Let's get into it. So I'm actually hoping that everything is going to fit on this card because, well, I don't have a lot of time and I have a lot of stuff to cover. So first off, we're going to show you what's in my pockets today. On the wrist is the Garmin and Marvel First Avenger Smart Watch. As usual, it's become my normal watch. In the pocket, the new color of my Civivi Baby Banter. This is the new Special Edition OD Green. We're going to get some light on that from the window. We're taking advantage of the window light today. We're even going like, to open it up a little bit. I'm taking advantage of it. It is 2.45 and I have an empty house so I can film and I have time to do it. So it's going to be quiet too. So that's the knife today. The OD Green version to match its big brother. I love it. I love it so much. I actually, I'll get into more detail in a little bit, but the Wii Banter is what's been in my pocket the most lately. Flashlight, of course, is the Olight i3T EOS in black. Of course, you should have known that. Like, this is just my go-to flashlight. And the hank in the pocket today is my red and black plaid from Awesome Hank. Now the wallet. Today's wallet is special. It is my first full day having it. This is the DO1 Dapper Pin Wallet from Dango in their DTEX. All these there. So, it has a pin. You've got all my cards here. You've got four cards here and cash right there too. Got a mini notebook and a pin too. All of this comes out too. Yeah, it's great. I'm going to get into more depth when I get to this. It was also sent to me for free by Dango. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. I'm actually going to be doing a review on this wallet. Should be out next week because I'm going to carry it for about a week-ish. So I can really get some use on it and really know how I really like it. So yeah, but also right now, I just put the reel up for it last night, unboxing it. It has over 8,000 views right now. Actually, while we're on camera, let's go look at my Instagram. Let's just go look. And if you haven't already, go follow me down below. The link is below in the description. We have 8,424 views right now as we speak. It is that one right there. That's crazy. That is just insane. Thank you guys so much. I know a lot of you don't actually watch the YouTube channel uh, a lot of you that watch the YouTube channel don't actually follow me on Instagram, I believe. So that is mostly just from Instagram. And I, I'm pumped about it. It's just, it's taken off. I, it hasn't been up a full 24 hours yet. Okay, enough rambling. Let's jump in to what's in my everyday carry. Okay, so I have all the information written out on a Google Doc on my iPad right here, which we'll get into all the tech stuff later. My iPad is included. But for now, we're going to start with my knife. And lately, the knife that has been in my pocket is the Wii Banter. And you guys already know I love this knife so much. It's one of my favorites. I still have to do a review on it because I've done the Civivi Baby Banter before. But yeah, OD Green, Wii Banter. Now, the details on this one, it is... The blade length is 2.9 inches. It's not too big, not too small. Closed, it is 3.62 inches. So, like that, 3.62 inches. And then overall, 6.52 inches overall length. It's a great little knife to carry around. It has been mostly in my pocket the past couple of weeks because I just love it. It is a little bit bigger than the baby banter, and that's why I like it. But I also like the baby banter for other reasons. So that one will run you $108 almost everywhere. You can get special editions that are more expensive, but regularly they are $108. Also, nasally still, can't kick it. It's not COVID, but I just can't kick it and it's driving me insane. And the Zavivi Baby Banter is also what's normally in my pocket and I don't have information on this one. You can, I'll link them down below and in my kit. I updated my everyday carry kit to include these. Here are my baby banters. Maybe it'll just focus on them automatically, or I'll have to press the button. And it's kind of sketchy holding two knives open. <laughs> Whoopsies. It quit filming. Press the button too hard. But yeah, those are my baby banters. The Ben Blue and the OD Green Special one. These have gone up to $70 from their original $60 price point, which is fine. I think it's still just as much worth the money. I love the blue one is so fidgety. It just opens so fast. I love it. The green one is still getting worked on because it is new, so it's not as like... I don't know, it's not as used, so it still is kind of slow to open. That one, those are going to run you $70. Okay, now for the Hanks. Let's go. Okay, so my Hanks rotate. I normally carry one of two companies. And today's pocket, the one in the pocket was my red and black plaid awesome Hank one. 
I believe you cannot get this one anymore now. It is official. So it rotates between an Andy Awesome Hank handkerchief. And I have lots of them. I'm actually going to show you the stack of them. I have one, two, three, four, five Awesome Hank, Hank, uh, Hank handkerchiefs. Yeah, five of them. One of them is custom. That's what this one is. But the red and black was in my pocket today. The other one that rotates is my Mighty Hank's Mighty Mini. It's a great handkerchief. It is Christmas themed, but I still carry it because I just love the pattern on it. And it's just a really good handkerchief for the money. Okay, these are very budget friendly. Let's just be honest. Hanks are budget options for anything. The Mighty Hanks Mighty Mini is $21. And then any awesome Hank is $20 unless you get a custom one. Or you get their new budget friendly option, which is $14. And it is actually very similar to a Mighty Hanks Mighty Mini. Yeah, that's, that's basically the Hanks, and those two I swap out all the time. All right, next up is my flashlight. Okay, my flashlight does not change. It's the Olight i3T EOS in black. Here's your flash warning. Here's your low mode and your bright mode. You can still see me through all that. That's really cool. 20 bucks. Anywhere you can buy an Olight, mostly on their website. I think they have a couple of dealers, but mostly I buy from their website. This one was a gift, as you already all know that story, so yeah. Flashlight's great, 20 bucks, great little thing. It's, I keep it in my pocket and honestly, I use it every day. You'd be surprised. All right, next up is my wallet and watch. Now we're getting into the fun stuff. All right, let's go. Just for the sake of my card space, we're gonna do the wallet and the watch together. So we're gonna start with the watch and you guys already know it's not a budget friendly option at all, but it's a great one to splurge on. This is the Garmin and Marvel First Avenger smartwatch. You know how much I love it, I wear it every day. Actually, it has become my everyday watch over my Timex, mostly because I scratched my Timex and I can't stand looking at it because I know that I scratched it. But the leather on this one has patinaed so nicely. It looks so good. And it finally fits on my wrist and doesn't shake. So it's really great for that now. And I do swap at night. I'll put on the silicone band because it gets a little bit tighter. And so to track my sleep, I do prefer it to be a little bit tighter than what the leather can get. But that's about it. It's not a, It's not cheap. It's $400. It is normally on sale on Garmin's website, so the link that I'll put down below or on my kit if I run out of room will have it, and most likely it'll be about $380, which is only $20 off, but you can use that $20 that you saved from the price for shipping. That's what I did. Since it took $20 off, I paid for extra fast shipping. Got it in like three days. Great. Now the wallet. This one, I told you about it earlier. This is the Dango D01 Dapper Pin Wallet. I love it so much. I, I don't think I've ever loved a wallet so much. I do want to get a green band to like customize it a little bit. So I've got four cards in there right now. That's pretty thin. And honestly, when you think about it, that is a thick wallet, yes. But there's a notebook and four, four cards and some cash in there. That's not too bad for that size. I love this wallet because it takes out the fact that I don't have to carry a notebook around too. I always have a notebook and pen built into my wallet. And what I really love about it too is that I can take the pen out and just carry the pen like this or put it inside its little case like this. And I've got one of their little aluminum pens. And then it just still stays closed like a bifold wallet. And I can take the notebook out too. You can also get refills for those. Now, I am working on breaking in the pen. It is a Schneider refill, I believe. It does pop, but I think that's just the refill because I've taken it out and the spring in it is not the best, but it does kind of squeak when I close it and open it. But I can get used to that because I love it and it's portable. It's just a really nice pen. I do want their titanium one because titanium pen, why not? If I have the option, why not? But yeah. Great pen, great wallet. I'm loving it, and the review for this wallet is coming soon. I'm hopefully gonna be doing it next week. All right, let's get that focus back on me. All right, now I believe we move on to like my bags and price, uh, bags and tech. Let's go. One more item before the bags, and that is my pocket trash. I do not normally carry it. I carry it 50% mm, of the time, mostly because I don't wanna lose it. This is the Kraken coin from Awesome Hank Gear. $25 coin, limited run, so I do not know if they have any more available. I love it. I don't carry it all the time, but it is great for pictures. It just makes everything pop because of the gold color. You've got their little logo right there. 
you really can't see it unless you're trying to find it. I love it. It's great. Like I said, limited run. So I am the only person that has it with the number 18 on it. And I really don't know if you'll be able to see that. Maybe if I turn it in the light. Yeah, it says number 18. I have the 18th one that was made. I love that number personally. It's got personal value to me. So that's why I picked that number. Uh, but like I said, uh, limited run. I don't know if they're still available. Uh, let me see. I think... Okay, they also come in two colors. The gold and the antique copper. I prefer the gold just because I have a lot of things with gold on them. So, yeah. That's what I chose to go with. I will link it down below. But I'm not sure that they're still available. But good luck. I do think they are going to plan to do more drops of those eventually. So, yeah. Okay. Time for my bags and the tech uh, world of stuff. So from my last everyday carry, and if you haven't watched that one, go check it out up here. You may recognize the bag. Normally, on a normal work day, it is my big outdoor products backpack. And you've seen it in, in that video, and it's linked in my kit. But lately, when I'm not working or just going out and about, I'm carrying this little bag. This is the Patagonia Atom 8 liter sling bag. It's great. It's got a little pocket here. I got a little Thanos Funko Pop keychain on it. Just a little spot. This is the only where I keep my wallet. And I have a Dango multi-tool multi hanging in that clip right there. Zip that up. Open it up. Got a pocket here and a little like folder pocket right there if you can see that. And then, secret pocket. Well, not really secret. Right here on the sling itself. And for because I had archery practice today, I've got gum pen, and I believe some Tylenol. Yep, Tylenol. It's great. All folds up in here. I always have a pen with me. That one was the Big Idea Design Mini mini Twist. Mini pen? I don't know. It's the twist one. But yeah, that's always in there, so that way I always have something like that on me. So those are the bags. Now, now comes the fun stuff. The tech. All right. You all know it. The tech. The phone is the iPhone 12 Pro with both cameras in their blue color. That is my knives as my background now. I love it, still love it. My parents just got the 13 Pro and Pro Max. I don't know if I like them better. I love this blue uh, over the 13 blue personally, but I love it. It's a good phone, still a great one. I'm not having any problems with it. And the cameras are what normally take all my thumbnails now. And to go along with that, AirPods Pro. I'm all about Apple's Pro line of stuff. I need to charge those actually. Those just came up on my tablet. You should already know by now, I have everything Pro from Apple. iPhone 12 Pro, AirPods Pro, iPad Pro, MacBook Pro. It's just, it's me. It's what I like. Alright, so those are the two that are mainly on me. And then you have my 11-inch iPad Pro, which is right here with the script on it and the Apple Pencil and the Logitech case. Uh, the phone, I'm not sure how much is going to run you. The AirPods are about $250 and the iPad was about $1,500 plus $150 case. But right now I mostly use the iPad for my YouTube content, like watching it. I keep it in my bag when I'm babysitting just in case my kids forget their tablets somewhere and just wanna watch YouTube kids or just watch TV. So I always have it for them. And I keep it for Procreate. I love drawing with my pencil. It's just something that has become really fun for me. So yeah, Procreate is also a great app to have. 14 inch MacBook Pro. Boom. You've seen the review. If you haven't already, it's up here. I love it. I do not carry it daily. Uh, I can't carry it daily. I'm looking for a bag to do that, but I don't need it every day. I don't need it when I'm at work, but when I come home from work, that's when it gets used the most. I'm editing. I'm taking big photos and editing those. I'm watching YouTube, whatever. That's when it gets used the most. The speakers are awesome. The video quality is just spectacular. And I also use it any kind of a weather day for radar scope. I'm thinking about doing a more in-depth video on that later later on this year sometime, maybe during the spring, during storm season. So yeah, that may be coming. And lastly in the tech is the Nintendo Switch OLED. Now my review of this is coming in the coming weeks. I've had it long enough now that I think it's time for me to review it. So this is coming soon, but for now, here it is. This is my Switch OLED. The stand on the back is awesome now. The speakers are just pure awesomeness. They're so good. They're really loud. The Joy-Con colors, I have white on there today. Yeah, the screen's awesome. I'm doing a more in-depth review. That's why I'm just kind of skimming over it right now. It's great. Uh, the MacBook Pro, by the way, I don't remember. I think it was like 2500 for the MacBook Pro. 
And those Nintendo Switch OLED runs between $350 and $400. Also going to be linked down below. And lastly for the tech, this one has become an everyday carry. And it I'm shocked that it hasn't been for as long as I've had it. This is the Super Mario Brothers. I believe it was their 30th anniversary Game & Watch system. You've seen me unbox it. It's an older video. I'll link it up here if you haven't. I unboxed this and filmed it as soon as I got it. I love it still. The battery life is awesome. And I'm just like, I can shove it in my bag and play Mario and Carline. That's what I love about it. I still want the Zelda one. If you can find these, they're about $50 everywhere. I'm looking at getting the Zelda one just so I can have both of them and so I can swap up. If I don't want to play Mario, I can play Zelda. I have actually just set a personal record on the ball game on here. I believe I've passed 400. So yeah, that's a new record on there. I am, I'm loving this, honestly. I just charged it for the first time in a good three months yesterday because I had been playing it constantly. But yeah, it's great. I love it actually sitting on my desk just having the screen on. I love that. Like just seeing the clock. I like it. It's great. 50 bucks. Go. Shoves it in my, I throw it in my bag. Forget it's there. Okay, we gotta go to the outro before my card fills up. Let's All right, do it. guys. I'm sorry. I know I was talking fast, but I only had a little bit of limited storage on the card, so I had to get it done. All right, that was my everyday carry video update for 2022. Now, that's more of my winter EDC. Uh, my main, main, main carry is my wallet, my knife, my hate, my flashlight, and the phone and AirPods. That's about it. And as the year goes on, I am going to do one every four seasons. So winter, spring, summer, and fall, there's going to be a different carry. And this summer, I'm hoping to put to use the knives. I'm just, I'm really hoping for it. And I'm looking forward to taking more pictures of them and hopefully growing my collection. I have one that I have my eye on, but I'm not going to let you know what that is just yet. So yeah, that's my EDC update for 2022. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have been enjoying the shorts that I've been doing. I've actually been enjoying that a lot. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to go down below and hit that subscribe button. Go check out the links that are all down there. If they're not linked down there, go check out my kit and you can see all the stuff that I talked about in this video. Alright, thanks for watching. And go hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you know when I upload a video. Also, hopefully in the coming weeks, I'll have a vi I'll have a code for you guys to get a discount on Dango any Dango product. If I do, I'll put it down in the discount. Uh, I'll put the discount code in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video.